What's up YouTube, it's your friendly neighborhood fish keeper again. Um, I just came out with a video, a six minute documentary about these fish, but I just wanted to tell you the most frustrating thing, like truly heart wrenching to watch, super sad, um, is when a female, really either the male or the female, but it tends to be the female in my experience, um, cichlid raises a brood. Um, they've had this brood for over a month now, about a month and a half, and they're growing very quickly. They're doing very well. All of them are pretty healthy and they look like a majority of the fry, if not all of the fry, have survived uh, the predation attempts by the other fish in the tank. And to hear that there's some infighting, because um, after a while, you know, the brood, I mean, the uh, pair bond does start to dissolve. You get some aggression. But um, let's see if I can actually capture on film what the purpose of this video is. Um, you'll have the fry after a while. Like, see the female's dorsal fin? It's not supposed to look like that. It's supposed to look more like the male's. Let's see if I can find him. See how his dorsal fin is really just nice and smooth. Nice, like everything is consistent on the very top part of the fin. Now I'm gonna go find the female again. All right, here it is, here it is. Here's the behavior. So see that white patch on her fin? That's an injury. She's had that injury for almost two weeks now. And what happens is, you, you guys just saw it, you might've missed it, um, is that the fry will peck at that injury. And she doesn't stop them, she doesn't do anything, she can't do anything, um, but see they're pecking at it right now. They're, they're practically eating her alive, like that's what's happening. Um, and it's just, just, I don't know if she experiences that as pain or if it's just an itch or like how fish experience pain, but they are like literally devouring part of her. Um, as her body tries to heal that injury, uh, it can't. And it's just really, really frustrating to watch because like what do I do, you know, I can, um, I don't have the tank space currently to, to remove the fry from the female or vice versa. I'm thinking about getting rid of all the adult fish in this tank and just giving this tank to the fry. Um, but I would miss these fish because frankly these fish are just slam gorgeous. This is this is a very, very handsome male Salvini. Very healthy. Um, and the female is like pretty cute too. But it's just, it's just really saddening to watch. Um, an interesting behavior though is in discus, you know, you have the fry feed on the slime coat to the parents, um, which is an evolved behavior that probably does dramatically increase the success of the parents uh, for their fry. And it's just like, maybe this is a possible mechanism by which behavior like that could have evolved. You know, you have uh, injuries or just excess slime coat um, produced by parents, which the fry then feed on for nutrition. Um, and eventually you do end up with something like what you have in discus. But I don't know, I just, I find this really sad to watch um, that she, I mean, you can try to put human emotion into it. Which I really try hard not to, but here it just feels like a situation in which she cares so much about her fry that she will literally let her like children eat her alive t uh, to keep them, you know, healthy and happy. But not only that, she's still valiantly defending them against the other fish in the aquarium, including, you know, her own mate, which this is just a uh, misbehavior. But, like, she will continue valiantly defending them, like, risking her life against fish that are easily twice her size. Like, this Texas cichlid, or pearl scale cichlid, twice her size. But she's still, like, valiantly defending her fry, which are, in turn, eating her alive, preventing her from healing. Um, and, like, potentially that could become infected, and that could be a life-threatening uh, situation for her. So she's, like... I don't know, mother of the year is the point of this video. Certainly mother of the year. You can see the fry still pecking at her, still feeding on her. And like there's just not enough food uh, in the world to, to satiate these fry. That said, I'm certainly gonna start trying a lot more. Um, I might reintroduce egg yolk. I might go out of my way. I don't know if I have time to maintain a brine shrimp culture, but I might try to culture some live food. But just look at that. Look at that behavior. Come on, video camera, work with me here. But yeah, look at that behavior. Um, look at her fin, her dorsal fin, and the fry just pecking at it. And see if she'll show, or oh, no. She was charging at other fish in the aquarium, but the male misinterpreted that. Um, and so now we have another bout of flaring at one another, which certainly doesn't help, you know, it just added unnecessary stress. Um, when the pair bond was younger, newer, fresher, uh, they were much more in sync with their defensive abilities. And if this were a smaller aquarium, certainly um, the male would likely have killed her. Uh, just because 
the conflict would happen a lot more often, um, and she wouldn't be able to get away. But she wouldn't back down either because she just has all this maternal instinct. And so she wouldn't back down because she's just the larger fish, the more dominant fish. And there she goes defending against the other fish in the aquarium. But yeah, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Just wanted to share that with you guys. Um, for those of you who don't know about cichlids, you know, this is just something to watch out for if you're trying to breed. Uh, keep in mind that ultimately, if you do care about the adult fish, which I do, um, just keep your eyes peeled. You know, there is an upper limit to the amount of time that you can leave the a parents with the fry for uh, without detrimental effects to the parents themselves. Um, also, if you've seen the other video, know that the convicts have actually spawned in that cave now and they're actively defending. Hopefully the eggs hatch, I don't think they will, but that just make for a, a much more interesting aquarium. <laughs> yeah, thanks for watching guys. Um, I hope your fish are all happy and healthy. Um, if you don't keep fish, I would definitely recommend keeping fish. Maybe one day I'll put out a, a beta care video. Um, take care, be sure to watch my other videos. Um, watch some other videos just in general about fish, about nature. Um, and thanks for watching, see you next time.